bad. Let's move on to this topic, Brian, because this is a teenager, and this 17-year-old runaway says she fears for her life after converting from Islam to Christianity. A judge recently ruled that Rafiq Berry can stay in Florida while custody issues are being settled. But if she's sent back to Ohio, she fears for her life, and she fears she may be in danger because of Sharia law. Bridget Gabriel is the New York Times best-selling author of They Must Be Stopped and Because They Hate. She's also the president of Act for America, and she joins us live from Virginia. Good morning. Good morning. What, what is this all about? Uh, should uh, the family be allowed to take this 17-year-old child back um, to Ohio? Uh, no, uh, this is really a very difficult p situation, and it is far beyond honor killing at this point that we are worried about. This girl has committed apostasy. Apostasy in Islam is punishable by death because she has committed a crime against the Ummah or the nation state of Islam. It's a uh, Islam is a religious political movement, and that is the problem. Uh, apostasy is punishable by death, according to all four schools of Islam Sunni Islamic jurisprudence, as well as Shiite jurist that whoever leaves his religion should be put to death. The Quran itself and the words of the Prophet Muhammad in verses 2 to 217 as well as 489 and also in, the, also in the Hadith Prophet Muhammad said if anyone leaves his religion kill him. That's Hadith uh, Surah 984. So she is in, in dire danger not only from her family because she soiled the honor of the family but from the Islamic community in Columbus, Ohio who feel it is their duty to kill her according to their religion. But Brigitte, what I can't wrap my head around with regard to this story is that when you move to the United States of America, then don't you have to abide by the laws of the United States regardless of your religion? Unfortunately, Gretchen, that's how it's supposed to be, but they do not follow these rules. I mean, look what happened with the honor killing that did not even include apostasy in the United States this year. In the last year, we have had three honor killings in the United States. One in Dallas, Texas, where a father killed his two daughters. One in Atlanta, Georgia, a father killed his daughter. Right. And one in New York, where a husband killed his wife. Now, they're supposed to abide by American laws. You cannot kill your daughter or your wife but, before, because she files for a divorce. Ms. Gabriel, but we're but they also... Do. But we're also saying, Ms. Gabriel, that we should ignore American law because under American law, a minor child stays with the parents. Correct? Uh, yes, but in this case, because Islam is involved and it is a religion and we supposedly are, uh, you know, respecting the religious laws, if this girl is to be returned back to Ohio, to the Islamic community, she not only soiled the honor of her family, she, is, she should be punished and put to death by the Islamic community because she broke the religious laws of the community. Right. And that's what they will do. They shouldn't, but th that's exactly what they're going to do. Right. And fortunately, she's close to turning 18 so that it will be a moot point but in the meantime the governor of Florida it's in his hands to determine what will happen ultimately to Rafiq Berry uh, so if you would like to weigh in to Governor Charlie Crist about what you think about this problem here's his email address you can write him charlie.crist at myflorida.com charlie.crist at myflorida.com Brigitte Gabriel always great to talk to you that's Thanks a frightening story thank you Ms. Gabriel thank you have a great day thank you yeah, it seems unbelievable to me that she could go home to these parents and not have the entire world watching what they would possibly do. Well, the but you can't take that risk. I mean, the, the father denies that he's going to do anything, but the more and more we see, there seems to be a risk. All right.